Hi, my name is Gopika and I am here to share my experience about the Whitehead Junior interview. Uh, so, I have actually been seeing these ads, uh, teacher ads on my Instagram and Facebook and then applied through the online uh, link. And uh, after filling up the form, like uh, we'll be receiving a call, a telephonic interview within two to three days. And there, they'll be basically checking our communication skills and they'll be asking basic questions related to our, like they'll be asking our educational qualification, whether we are familiar with coding, we have any prior coding experiences, which are languages are we comfortable with, I mean programming languages are we comfortable with and uh, once if we are into this uh, platform, uh, like how much hours are we able to dedicate to them, such sort of questions will be asked and then they'll ask us for a date or they'll uh, or they'll suggest a date like within two to three days they'll be scheduling our first demo round with us so uh, they'll be sending us a mail a like link and a mail which contains the uh, pdf which has to be prepared for the demo one round so the thing is uh, i had my demo uh, like i had the same pdf for demo one and demo three and i'll tell you about demo two but uh, let me first speak about demo one so demo one is about like you have to prepare this pdf and deliver the classes you have to give the classes mm, they have different curriculums so depending on the curriculum you get you have to uh, like they'll be giving you instructions as well uh, depending on the pdf you have to prepare that and be ready for the class so once you're into the class but make sure before you apply, make sure that you have a very good Wi-Fi connection. A broadband connection is a necessity because only then they'll be proceeding with their classes. Otherwise, uh, like if we have a geofi or some other connection we'll be like most probably they'll be share, uh, share they'll ask to share our screen and they'll be doing a speed test and then they'll uh, ask us to get a broadband and then come back okay so uh, in the demo round we have to prepare the pdf and deliver the classes and um, there they'll be checking us uh, checking the um, communication skills uh, like they will be acting as a student and we have to teach them so they'll be checking how like whether we have teaching capabilities uh, like how is the communication skills our pace of speech that is whether we are too fast or too slow like that and uh, in my case uh, my demo one round had a feedback so they asked me to work upon something and come back and deliver it on next class okay so I, that is it was rescheduled and uh, next go i i was perfectly fine with that um, they selected me to demo two and demo two is like uh, two days after the uh, demo one we'll be having demo two and demo two is basically like um, coding test so we'll be having five questions and actually divya's channel has helped me a lot he, she has provided some questions there it has helped me a lot those questions are the ones which are asked really uh, like we'll be having five questions and we can choose from any uh, like any programming languages we are comfortable with we can choose a compiler there and write a codes there uh, and the thing is, um, the interviewer will be like, uh, sh uh, will be sharing a screen and turning on the webcam and doing this test, coding test. And um, they, uh, by the time they'll be also asking us how much hours are we able to like dedicate to Whitehead Junior, uh, such questions and all. And they will be doing the test. Uh, I think they won't ask any extra questions, uh, but only the coding test. And after the coding, the, in the coding test, uh, each question is of 100 marks. And you have to score a minimum of 350 marks to pass the test and that appears on that like that counts to uh, how much correct your program is if you have syntax errors it's like automatically it won't be correct but then if your logic is wrong it may be partially wrong or fully wrong if it's fully wrong you have to work on it again if it's partially wrong it still gets accepted but if you have time you can work on that and all these five questions have to be completed in one hour and next is demo three and in demo 3 what we have once you're selected in demo 2 we are good to go to demo 3 and in demo 3 what you have is uh, like they'll be asking you to take the same pdf which you took in demo 1 and this time they will not give you a chance to like work on it like you have to um, already prepare the uh, mistakes which are pointed out to you in the previous demo rounds and then uh, give it in one go and this is the round where they actually uh, like select you okay like uh, your, your communication skills should be good um, your uh, 
pace of speed should be good you should be delivering it in a moderate speed uh, like you should make the like it should be a one to one interaction section and it should not be like you speaking alone you should make like prompt them que- like to answer something okay you should ask them questions and make it an interactive lively session okay so that is what they look to it basically and once you're finished with demo 3 you're good to go you'll be recruited to the platform that's my experience like i had a very positive experience um like i have been seeing so many negative feedbacks around but then uh, i even i expected that but then, but i was like getting a very good uh, like feedback from there a uh, very good response from the side i am like very much grateful to uh, divya for providing such information about like she has uh, worked on it in a very good manner she has made the videos it was very helpful for anyone who's like uh, into this platform uh, thing is you need to have coding and some basic communication skills so that is what they check to and be confident give your maximum okay all the best